Welcome to my guide on how to AFK the Cow Fight Queen and the hard mode version of her, which is the Exiled Cow Fight Queen with Necromancy. As before, the boss has two forms, and the first one prays magic and range. The second form prays melee, which means you had to bring at least two styles so you will be able to defeat her quicker. As for the preset, this is what I used for my inventory. I do have the artifacts measure, however, you can use a gem bag, although you don't really get too much uncut gems from her. And I have a ton of super restores along with one emergency food. The ancient elven ritual shard, so I use less prayer potions. And I have the Excalibur along with the spring cleaner. For my gear, I'm just using tier 90 necromancy armor and weapons, the DPS version of it. And yes, you can do this without having the Zuck or Kiln cape. And then pretty much bring the luck of the dwarves as it does boost your effects on getting the Kafai Queen head. For the revolution bar, you will need these five, and that will be the Spectral Scythe, Soul Sap, Volley of Souls, Finger of Death, and Touch of Death. Lastly, it will help to have the Persistent Rage Relic, which you're able to generate combat, I mean, generate adrenaline while outside of combat. So you'll always, after the fight, You'll get adrenaline as it takes about 30 seconds for the boss to respawn, in which case it should get you about 72 to 86 adrenaline. But if you have killed the boss before, you're actually able to tune a portal at PVM Hub, but make sure to right click set arrival point. And it depends if you want to kill the normal Kafai Queen, hit option one or option two for the Exiled Calphite Queen. The Exiled is pretty much the hard mode version and it halves the drop rate for getting the Dragon 2H. That's it. So pretty much hit whatever one you want to and go through the portal. In my case, I chose the regular one, in which case we'll just want to right click and then join instance. However, if it is your first time doing this boss, you will need to follow this path right here, in which case you'll want to teleport to Alcriad Lodestone. Once you're at the Alcriad Lodestone, you want to go south behind the castle towards Shanti Pass. And then right as you pass Shanti Pass, you want to go west. It does take a bit of a run. And then once here, you should see this cave right here. You'll climb down it and there is two shortcuts. The very first one is directly south of you, which does require 55 agility. If you do not have 55 agility, you'll need to run around. And then the second course right here, which I'll be taking does require 79 agility. So, once you're there, again, right click and join the instance, set it to fastest, and you'll need 75,000 coins. Once you're here, make your way west and pray soul split. Make sure to have auto re retaliate on and to drink and overload. Now we just wait to defeat the cow fight queen. Depending on RNG, you will pretty much kill her within every kill 45 seconds. And because of that, you're able to get between 46 to 51 kills hourly. But I've done this for a couple of hours and I seem to average about 48 kills hourly. 
Although keep in mind, I do have Aftershock 1 and Precise 6 on my weapons. So if you don't have Aftershock, it can impact the amount of kill speeds. And of course, since we do have the Death Dealer Necromancy armor on, it can automatically trigger the instant kill. And then of course, you have two options. One, I bring so many super restores that I'm so lazy, I don't bother turning off Soul Split. In which case, the Persistent Rage Relic will take effect right now. And you see that my Adrenaline is already at 100%. In which case, it's plenty enough for the next Calphite Queen kill. Now, her drops aren't too impressive, really. And you'll only want to do this for a couple reasons. One, the Wines of Zamrock. Although hard mode Krill Susarov is better. The Dragon 2H, although you could do the Exiled version, in which case. This whole preset and everything works out perfectly for him. Or, if you want the Dragon Chain Body, you can also go for this. Sadly, the Exiled Calphite Queen does not increase the drop chances for getting the pet, although that would be a little too good, I guess. And then remember to just always click on your Ancient Elven Ritual Shard first and then drink a Prayer Potion so that you don't waste a sip technically and then just leave on your Prayer for the whole hour. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, Kafai Queen is an extremely easy boss fight as you can tell and thanks to necromancy we we're able to afk it with very fast kills per hour because previously we had to use varrock augment that and then the flail was a two-handed sword which was kind of slow and it was a 50 50 chance of hit through prayer but with that don't forget to like Subscribe and comment down below what next boss you would like me to see to make a guide on. And don't forget to enjoy the rest of your day.